This is Shilpa and myself G. We'll deal with directions and questions. What are these directions and questions? Well, rather than we talk a lot, we'll give you an idea about directions and questions with a couple of examples. The basic thing what we need in directions and questions is the basic idea about directions. This is ease. This is a standard notation. Well, if you look at a blueprint or something like that, when you look at that paper, the upper side of that paper would be north and lower side would be south, south. and right hand side would be east, east. and left hand side west. Yes. Now the question is how many directions we have. Is it four directions? No. Well, have you heard about Ashta Dik Palaga? Ashta means eight. eight. Ashta Dik Palaga means eight directions. Directions. That is what it is. Which are the eight directions we have? This is four directions. Well, in between. Let's say this is west and this is north. In between, any point in between west and north, it is northwest. Not any point between north and east is northeast and any point between south and east southeast and if somebody is facing this direction what is that southwest right so this is what exactly the basic thing required for direction sense type of questions now we'll take an example let's say this is shilpa shilpa is facing east from that direction she turns 270 degree clockwise Followed by a left turn, then which is followed by a 45 degree turn in anti-clockwise direction. So let's take a look at what exactly happens here. Shilpa is facing east, so that is east. She is facing this direction. And from that point, she turns what? 270 degree. From this point, she turns 90. She would be facing this direction. So that's 90. From the another 90, so she would be facing west. So for 90 plus 90, 180. 180 then one more 90, so 270 degree. Now she's facing which direction? North. North. And that's followed by a left turn. A left turn is what? Probably you remember the school assembly. So that is always what? 90 degree turn. So well, in this case, Shilpa started from here, 270 degree clockwise. She reached here. From there, it's a 90 degree turn, left turn. So it's a left turn. So left turn means 90 degree turn, this direction. So she's facing this direction, north. And from there, a left turn means towards west. west. And that is followed by a 45 degree turn, anti-clockwise. So this is anti-clockwise, a 45 degree. So from west to south is 90 degree. So we need only 45 degrees, so halfway. So now Shilpa would be facing this direction here. So what is this direction between west and south? So southwest. So Shilpa is facing southwest. That is one of the type of questions you may have in direction sense. The most important thing in direction sense questions is to understand directions. With well, if a person stands at the middle with respect to this person, this is north, this is east south west and anything be between west and south is southwest anything between east and south is southeast anything between north and east is northeast well if you understand that part then we are ready to proceed to a question right here lena drives three kilometers towards north from her college and takes a left turn then she drives four kilometers how far and in which direction is she from the college? These type of questions, rather than read that question several times and waste your time, what I suggest is just look at the question and start drawing the diagram without wasting your time. So, Lena drives three kilometers towards north. So this would be the starting point of Lena. Let's mark it as starting point. And she drives three kilometers towards north. So from this point, let's say this point, north means towards this direction, right? So from this point, she goes north. How many? Three kilometers. This is three kilometers. 
And while north, she drives three kilometers towards north. Next thing, takes a left turn, then she drives four kilometers. From this point, she takes a left turn, then drives four kilometers. So this point, while she is facing this direction, which is her left hand side, for me, this is my left hand side, so this would be the left hand side, right? Okay, so let's do it, left hand side. So that is four kilometers. Now she reached this point. Well, Lena drives three kilometers towards north from this point, that is from her college. So this is her college right here. Three kilometers towards north. From that point, she turns to the left. She turns to the left and four kilometers. Now she reached here. The question is how far and in which direction is she from the college? How far and in which direction? Well, with respect to the college, this is the college and she's where? This point. And this direction is north and this direction is west. So which direction she is? Northwest direction. Now look at the answer choices. Sometimes, you know what? Answer choices may help you to get the answer rather than solving the question completely, right? Okay, let's look at it. Answer choices are A, these are the answer choices you have. Well, from the college, her final destination is north. At the same time, it's west. So this is the direction. This is what? Northwest direction. So she is at the northwest direction. Now look at the answer choices. We have a northwest here and we have a northwest here. Two answer choices gives you the northwest. If it is only one answer choice gives you the northwest, that would be the answer. You don't need to calculate the distance. But in this case, we have two answer choices has the direction northwest. So we have to solve it. So how do we solve it? This is what the direction we need to, I mean, this is what the distance we need to find out. This, we, the, this is the hypotenuse of this right triangle triangle. So this is a right triangle triangle. Probably you remember the right triangle triangle theory you learned in grade six or seven, right? So what is it? This is the hypotenuse. So hypotenuse is equal to the root of height squared plus base, base squared. So height is what? Three. Three squared plus base is what? F four squared. So three squared plus four squared. Three squared plus four squared. Uh, three squared is nine. Four squared is 16. So nine plus 16, that is 25. So that is equal to root 25. Root 25 is equal to what? Five. So this distance is five. So the distance is five, five kilometers. Direction is what? North, west, north, west. So the answer is five kilometers northwest. That would be the final answer. This is the next question we have in front of us. Govind walked 10 meters on a straight line facing the sunset. Facing the sunset. How many? 10 meters. He took a right turn. What is it? Right turn. And walked 15 meters followed by another right turn. And 30 meters walk. How far is he away from the starting point? That's a question we have in front of us. Rather than wasting our time reading the question several times, as I have mentioned earlier, we'll go straight into the diagram. So we'll start from this point. Well, whatever the starting point, we'll assume that this is the starting point of the Govind, right? He walked 10 meters on a straight line facing the sunset. So if he is facing the sunset, he would be walking straight towards west. So this is what west is. So 10 meters. 10 meters on a straight line facing the sunset. So he is walking towards west. 10 meters from the starting point. So this is the starting point. He took a right turn and walked 15 meters. So after reaching this point, he took a right turn. He is going towards north. So this is what? North. 15 meters. Well, after reaching this north, this point, 
right turn and he walked 15 meters followed by another right turn from this point another right turn and a 30 meters walk from this point another right turn a 30 meters walk 30 meters now look at it from this point to this point what is it 10 meters and same way here this distance well, this point, this is 10, so this would be 10 as well, 10. And this total is 30, so this part is 10, the balance would be 20 meters. And same case here, see that this is 15, so this is a parallel line. So the, if this is 15, this would be 15 as well. And finally, what we need to find, how far is he away from the starting point so this is a starting point this is a final destination final so we need to find the straight line distance so this is what exactly we need to find it according to the right angle triangle theory that we have discussed earlier what is it this distance is square root of the square of height and the base of this right angle triangle. So what is distance? That would be the root of 15 square plus 20 square. 15 square is 225. 20 square, 400. So 400 plus 225, 625. We need to find the square root of 625. Square root of 625, everyone knows that 625 is what? 25 square. So square root of 625 must be 25. So the answer is what? 25 meters. How far is he away from the starting point? He's 25 meters away from the starting point. Of course, we have more wide varieties of questions, interaction sums. We'll come back with those kind of questions later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share.